So, we got the Master Guo G5 Triple X. Throw a large. <laughs> That's what she said. Today, we've got the Master Guo G5 Triple X uh, fish knife here, cleaver. Uh, 2.6 2 pounds. Uh, we're going to sharpen it up for a customer. Uh, we're going to use the belt sander today, no jigs. All right, so with the, uh, the 3X here, we've got about 11 inches of blade on the curve here. So uh, it should be you know, quite a bit to deal with. Uh, the regular G5 is approximately this big here. So this uh, outline here is about the G5 size, about the size of my hand. So we're dealing with a considerably larger piece of steel here. So I'll use the belt sander. Again, this is for a customer, so we're going to sharpen it up. Uh, we're just going to find our angles and, and roll a little bit here. And I'll give you, you know, again, that first person. We're not going to go this way because there's just way too much acrobatics to deal with. So it's just going to be unwieldy to do it that way. So we're going to come in at, at like a 45 here and just rock everything on the belt. This is probably the easiest way. All right, and then we'll hit the stones afterwards. All right, let's do it. So that was pretty uh, straightforward with the angles there. You can see, hopefully, um, where we're getting that new bevel from. It's nice and even across there. What I'm going to do now is blend it a little bit because, you know, the factory is a little bit rougher than me. So we're going to just blend it a little bit with some belts and we'll come back on the stones. So just try to make it a little nicer looking. All right. Using a uh, Trizac 30, A30 here. So, and just to kind of clean it up a little bit, meld it in and get a nice little bevel going. bad so got a nice little curvature to it uh, just kind of convexing it a little bit I don't know again the camera will pick that up but I'm getting a, an angle set and then I'm coming in and, and rounding that off a little bit all right 16 trizac So again, I'm not sure if the camera is able to pick this up here, um, but what I'm seeing is there's a, a shine here and then it turns dull. 
as it hits the air, so you can see it better up here at the rim. Uh, where it starts getting duller is the clad steel, and where the shine is the the uh, the core steel, the, uh, the high Japanese high carbon Japanese steel. So, all right, we'll take it to the stones and continue it on, make it a little even purtier. All right, now onto the hard part, stones. So I got a 400 Chosera here. <laughs> So again, that 11 inches of blade, uh, it's going to present a small problem here, so figure it out. But basically it's a Frisbee, so I'm just doing a nice U-shape, got my angle. Okay, I'm in the groove. Don't go too fast. Okay, I'm gonna slowly round it out. Okay, good. Next on to the 2K. I'm going to jump around on this again because we did already the belt. So 400 to 2K is it's a little bit of a leap. I should really hit the 1K, but you could do the 2K uh, if you set it up well. And we did. We set it up well. All right, quick test here. I got some leather. So it's two mil stick leather. So the way it's going to work is, you know, you pound it in, you're going to roll through. So, clean cut. So what I want to do is a few layers here. And again, whack it through. Boom. <laughs> All right. All right, thanks for watching. If you liked it, like and subscribe down here, or if you want to buy any Master Gold knives, check out a link up here, and we'll put some more videos for you on this side.